Yeah. Something came in this evening, and it's definitely next level pay. Yeah. Well, now, will you perch up on all fours while your butthole gets licked? I've never done that, but I would. A slight sidebar here. You didn't watch uh, Better Call Saul, right? No. But you watched Breaking Bad. Yes. You know it well. Yeah. Remember the character Mike? Yes. Love Mike. Mike, in this show, so for Better Call Saul, has already twice on his own defeated a Mexican street gang in one versus five fights. <laughs> yeah. The thing about, the thing I liked about- I'm having a hard time with that. Yeah, he's like an older man. Yeah, he's a very, very older man. The thing I liked about Mike on Breaking Bad was his violence was realistic. Where you're like, oh yeah, he's good at shooting people. He doesn't have that emotional temperament. Now, so for them to turn him into like- na- This show now is, uh, I know that spot right on your neck that drops you and finishes you for the <laughs> night. I also can grab your wrist and break your arm in 15 places. And I'll tell you, He's older, technically, he's older in that show yeah. than he is in Breaking Bad. So he's older than he was in Breaking Bad. But in Breaking in Bad, spoiler alert, block your ears, he died in season five. I don't even remember that. Is that true? Yeah, he shot, Walter White yeah. shot Mike. Don't even semi-recall that. I really, damn, I love dabs. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was like a, that was like a, the first half of season five. It was like one of the big things. You know, I'm in the car. Yeah. You know, I read somewhere that vets are even more depressed than lawyers. <laughs> depressed? No, 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 no. I love being a vet. Look over there. See that? That's what it's all about. Animals are my life. It's this other stuff. It's getting to be too much. No offense. Which you featured in awesomely in last night's episode. Thank you. Loved it. Um, it was great. It. Scenes were great. The scene was great. It was a long scene. That was my favorite scene I, I got to do through the series. Um, that was a pretty That was cool heavy one. you and him. Yeah. You and Odenkirk, which is awesome. How long yeah. did that tracking shot take? And they followed you from one room to the other. Uh, that was great. It yeah, took, that was cool. It took, it took a while, and it was at the end of the day. They shot that later because they were trying to turn Bob and uh, Ray... Uh, loose mm. so they'd have to stay we did it and it was like it was like the hardest shot and like man we did it so many times why was it hard was it turns in it i guess it was just like the pacing of it and like the way it had to connect with me getting the gloves off like they were just like i always joke but with them when i'm there i'm like can you guys write a scene one time where like i can just sit and talk like every time they're like okay now you got to go over there put the needle down <laughs> then you're going to have to pretend like you're sewing up a gunshot wound. Walk back to here. I'm like, God damn. Well, that was actually pretty funny. It's funny when you know the person, so you you watch it a little, like, more intently. on like, because I want to know, like, what your feelings were in doing the actual thing. So it's like I notice more, like, you're pulling a needle, like, away from the dog in that scene. You're like... And after that shot, he should be okay and all good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just gave him a shot, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. it's so... Uh, it's funny, but it was. It was an awesome scene, an awesome episode. Thanks, Gene, man. Gene and Carlo Esposito directed you on that. Yeah, that was cool. Not just because... Oh, he directed the episode? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That was exciting for me more so... Not, not It was, it was cool because of his legacy on the show, obviously, but more so for me that he's he's in Star Wars, like that he's in The Mandalorian. Like I talked to him about that between almost every take. Probably annoyed the shit out of him. But. <laughs> he's like... You been talking about do the right thing or anything like that? Yeah. <laughs> no interest. Awesome guy. Yeah, he's very nice. He's very nice. And uh, looks, not that he looks old on TV, but he looks way younger in real life. Mm. Like, way younger. Um, but a uh, very nice guy. Yeah, it's wild. He's in Do the Right Thing. Yeah. Him and uh, Jonathan Banks on that show are like, they've been in like, it's crazy how much shit they've been in. I love snacks. <laughs> What? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> we're taping. Oh my god, I thought you guys were so break. No. <laughs> not, not only is she making a ton of noise with the snacks, she's singing about it. That's why I thought everybody just shush for a second and we sold her out. <laughs> Sorry. You need to let her sell herself out more on that. I love snacks. <laughs> Black lives don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I missed that. I would have let it go forever. <laughs> that was wild. Abortion should be illegal. <laughs> Christine just spilling feelings. Hot mics. Huh? Lou brought the snacks. 
Oh, get on a microphone or shut up. <laughs> the, uh, I'm not not paying attention. I'm staring down and looking at... You want this guy so bad, this I'm peony shrimp guy? I'm going to find him. Was that one... I can nerd out over the show for... Was that one day? That, that scene that you did? Yeah, it was a long day. Very yeah, long you were like day. in and out. Yeah, they usually make me go a day... They'll, 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 they put a day on either side in case anything goes wrong, but usually nothing goes wrong. Can you say if you're in more of the season or no? No. You gotta, yeah, wait and watch. Sign all kinds of shit. I believe I could be sued for uh, <laughs> for betraying. Um, Why? But yeah. Did you cut a did you cut a peephole into Odenkirk's dresser? Yeah, I got a little. I stuck a peek. Did you put your fucking dick through it like Scott Bayo, dude? <laughs> Why don't you be awesome like Bayo on set? All right. What's the difference between a and a has the dirt bag on the inside. <laughs> uh, your jokes. I've only been in the mailroom a week and I've heard maybe a hundred. Yeah. It all comes from a place of affection. Sure, of course. Anything else I can do for you? <laughs>